mama told me when I was young. Come sit beside me, yeah, my only son. Well, listen closely. Yeah. Hey, y'all, and welcome to another episode of Skinnered Shorts here on our YouTube channel and later to become part of the podcast. Um, always looking for more stories and more information from you guys. I uh, really enjoy the, the chat and the uh, the messages you are putting to us in there. Nice comments. Really yeah, nice. and we're trying to learn from you, but I'm still looking forward to having some of you on the show and share your stories. We might could do it by Zoom. We might could, heck, we might go to your house. Who knows? Hey, I want to mention a couple more things real quickly. Uh, one of the things that we have discovered doing this project is a great band from Harlan, Kentucky called the Kudzu Killers. Oh my. If you like Leonard Skinner, if you like drive-by truckers, if you like big guitar music, wow, well, these guys are great. This Get Somebody um, video is tremendous. Anyway, uh, we used a new camera on this episode. It's got a timestamp on it. We didn't adjust it. I'm sorry. It's really 2023. The Kudzu Killers are coming to Memphis sometime because I'm going to try and make it happen. Anyway, if you get a chance to see them or support them, you should. Um, other things, just this episode, some crazy stuff from Bob Burns. I'm looking for your comments, okay? Back to the episode. Um, here's a picture from a magazine from 1976. It's kind of cool. Hope you can see it. Um, always snazzy dressers our guys are. There's some interesting information in this article that we're going to talk about later. Um, and there's other things we're talking about, like I just mentioned before the show started, about Drew Lombard. If I had had a son, which I did not, I wanted to name him Drew Lombard, right? Because I just thought that was cool. Plus, as a guitarist, I have a hard time finding many people who could keep up with Drew Lombard. Drew Lombard was a noted slide guitar specialist. So if you have any stories or information or anything linking Drew to the band, I'd love to do a story about him because um, just pretty much... What Grinder Switch did in those days, I was I was a big fan. But today's episode is titled Bob Burns. Can you believe it, Bob Burns? Now, somewhere in the chat, someone mentioned uh, that they had some connections, you know, in the past with Bob Burns, and they have some Bob Burns stories. But uh, Joe, you're pretty much a Bob Burns expert. Well, when I received a pronounced album as a present from my brother, I've always wondered who that guy was. That I'm this is the one guy I never focused on. In that picture, he was, you know, just different. And I never put him in the band. I didn't know who he was. And lately I've started to understand that Bob Burns, he was very instrumental to creating Leonard Skinner. So, the story goes about they met at the baseball game, but did they already know each other before then? Ronnie, Gary, Bob, they went to school together. And 1960, what did we say, 65, 66? They were together, and they were they were working around making a band, you know, the one percent band, you know, the little things that Ronnie had going on. He'd come, he'd come to Bob, and Bob worried about uh, Ronnie going to beat his ass. Ronnie, I'm a singer, Bob. I'm just trying to play. I need a drummer. So they put that together, and Bob decided he needed to find another guitarist, which his friend from another county or district was Alan Collins. So. They did that second guitarist to kind of put a little more thump. So Alan didn't go to school with him? No, he was not in the same school. With but them. I thought that Ronnie hit Bob in the head with a baseball. Well, there is a story about that. But Bob never talks about that in any of his interviews. So I don't know if that was how they got together. It sounds like they were together already. They were friends, and they were in school, and maybe just, they just played ball together sometimes. I don't know. Bob was a little crazy. Bob was a little bit crazy, as we all were in younger years. A little ADHD, a little psychotic. His older interviews look crazy. Yeah, he's a little bit, you know, he's a little bit, he whacked out. But, and he did get whacked out in 73 in Europe, and with some bad weed or something. And some people just don't need drugs in their life. <laughs> and Bob was one of them. Bob was one of them. Yeah. I, I thought that um, it was interesting. What was the story about when Alan didn't have a guitar or whatever? Well, the story went that his band, the Mods, were keeping his guitar, holding it for ransom because they didn't want him to play for anybody else. So, Ronnie said, oh, I'll take care of that. So, he went up to the Mods place, knocked on the door, said, uh, we need Alan's equipment. 
and they gladly handed it over. Now I thought, I wait, you missed a story about him driving around donuts in their yard, right? Oh, he did go. Ronnie went to their yard, <laughs> did donuts in their yard like a gangster might do, tore their yard up, went in, and talked to them about getting Alan's guitar and equipment. And they obliged. And decided that we're going to be out there and see some of your shows sometime. Because they were afraid of Ronnie. You know, Ronnie was pretty much the man. <laughs> so, so that story might be true. So the story about Alan climbing the tree to hide from Ronnie is not true? I'm not sure about that. I haven't really researched that and found any real quotes or interviews from that. But obviously it very could be a possibility. They at least chased him and Alan thought that Ronnie was going to beat his ass. Yeah. And maybe said, told, Ronnie told Alan, hey, I'm a singer. I want you in my band. And maybe that got the rest of the ball rolling. Yeah, so tell me more about Bob Burns. Bob Burns. Bob Burns, he was really instrumental in putting this band together from 66 to around 70-ish or so. And Bob Burns actually came up with the name Leonard Skinner because they had the name 1%. And they were being abused. Or Ronnie, people were talking about y'all were just 1% talent. You know, Ronnie didn't go for that. So Bob had found an, a lyric from uh, an, um, a song that had Leonard Skinner in it. And now this is where it gets weird. This is what Bob said. That's what Bob said. And he said, we're going to name the band Leonard Skinner. And Ronnie said, yes, we are. Because he really just was tired of the 1%. But I thought Leonard Skinner was named after the gym teacher. Skinner later became what a, a, a gym teacher for the boys. I don't and, know if I believe that. But you know, we're, we're listening to Bob Burns, a little psychotic interview, and I just like to repeat things that are right from the horse's mouth. Right. And you found the song that he got the words from. Yes, it's uh, it's an Alan, what's his name? Alan, Hello Mother, Hello Father. Alan Sherman song, probably from the way back. The Three Stooges sang that song. Yeah. Here I am at Camp Granada. Camp is very entertaining, and they say we'll have some fun when it stops raining. I went hiking with Joe Spivey. He developed poison ivy. You remember Leonard Skinner. He got bromine poisoning late night after dinner. So that's where Bob says he came up with it. Wow, that is radically different from anything any of us have ever heard. I've never heard that. If you want to watch any Bob Burns videos, they're worth it. Trust me. Because it's just different kind of stuff. Well, um, through we've also learned from Derek Hess stuff that in late 74, early 75, Ronnie came to Derek wanting to see if Derek might like to be drummer for the band. So he knew Bob was having a problem. And it was, was this mental illness? Bob was breaking down on a European tour and I'm not sure what really happened to him. If it was some bad PCP or LSD or whatever it was, it wasn't for Bob, and the band got very worried about him and decided that they couldn't trust Bob. Really? So when they separated, was it a, a mean separation? And, and Bob always said, did Bob, leave? Bob said, I never quit the band. He will tell you that in interviews. I never quit the band. Did they fire him and not tell him, or just move on without him? I don't know. Or did he just take a break that never ended? That may have been, put him on a, a little bit of a submission hold there for a bit. I mean, Ronnie's not the kind of guy, I think, to strand a friend. Right? It was a tough situation, I'm sure. He was very ill, and they knew it, and they didn't want to be around it. Hmm. Okay. I, I would assume that. These are, they're like a family. They're like okay. brothers. Hey, you're not being, this is not good for our family right now. Okay. Well, I think that's a good place to leave it today. Uh, now's where you get to join in and tell us what you know about Bob Burns. And who knows, he may have friends or family out there that want to jump in and straighten us out on some of this stuff. But is that really where the name Leonard Skinner came from? I have no idea. But join us next time. We'll see you then.